This is a HeadGum Podcast. The summer break is uh, rolling on here at uh, the WHM offices. Holy shit, my mom's got a gun. Holy shit, my mom's got a gun. Talk her down. Mrs. Sadak. Mrs. Sadak. Put the gun down. Please don't. We promise we won't curse this this episode. I promise. Just put the gun down. Miss Sadak, please uh, please give me the briefcase full of pineapple juice. <laughs> uh, give me that. Don't give it to your son. I know why you want to give it to your son. Just give it right. to me, please. So that his shoot will taste good. Oh, God, I forgot about the fucking pineapple juice. Leave my mother out of the pineapple juice joke. <laughs> well, you brought your mother into the bit, dude, so there you go. Yeah. Uh, that is right, though. We are on vacation, uh, so we are presenting... This week, our live episode on Stop or My Mom Will Shoot recorded right. earlier this year in Washington, D.C. at the D.C. Improv, of course. Fun moment where Steve and I wore the same shirts. Oh, and if yeah. you want to see that horrific uh, moment, go to Instagram, you know, Instagram.com slash WHM podcast to see that pic. It was a solid uh, shirt, though, I have to say. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Now, did did either of you throw it out, or are we still both hanging on to it? Oh, the, dude, that's that's a regular rotation in the summer, my friend. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Ooh, Don't worry about it. I think I mine like went it. into cold storage. <laughs> well, my wife's getting sick of it. Uh, you know what my wife's also getting sick of? All this Patreon content we have, unfortunately. Oh, my God. Wow. And this, folks at home, this ain't the crummy crummies you're used to on other podcasts. These podcasts that put their stuff on Patreon, they don't know what they're doing. These are amateurs. We have been doing this for over 12 years. <laughs> Somebody dab his forehead. Somebody get it. Get it <laughs> Somebody get in there. And dab it. Listen, if, if I, I swear to God, folks, if Bob was here, he would not let me sell you all 550 hours of Patreon content. But I'm going to do it anyway. I'm just going to do it anyway. <laughs> That's right. There's going to be a new Nexus this month in August. There's a We Love Movies episode on RoboCop. There is a Gleep Glossary. There is an animation oh, damnation do- on Dilbert. There is an animation damnation on Dilbert, and that one gets pretty spicy. Yeah. Uh, just an FYI. <sighs> we all have mental breakdowns. It's very fun. <laughs> Once in a lifetime, Melrose Twitter. Folks, you cannot afford to let these offers go, go by. I think I'm, uh, my blood pressure is like just coming down from that Dilbert report. Mm-hmm. That was <laughs> just truly a conversation. Scott right Adams, <laughs> baby. And that's, that's on the lowest level. That's $3. $3, folks. <laughs> That's uh, against the law. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, John doesn't want us giving it away for three dollars, but we're gonna do it anyway. If you take advantage of these offers right now on patreon.com slash we hate movies. And what you need to take advantage of is this nice free episode of Stopper My Mom Will Shoot with Estelle Getty Long Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing? We came in, we saw your beautiful Spider-Man building where he he saves Zendaya. What's that called? The Spider-Man building, right? Oh, yes, yes. The Washington Monument. No, no, no. I saw it in the Spider-Man movie, and that's the Spider-Man building. Yeah, yeah, the Spider-Man building, and then there's the the Lisa Simpson Memorial. That's right. Yeah, that's that's what it's called, right? Yeah. Okay, it's interesting. Lincoln Memorial. Oh, okay. Who's that? What that guy do? Anything? Uh, he invented the oh, car. The Spielberg guy. <laughs> yeah, the Spielberg. The Spielberg. Oh, because there's Spielberg. a monument to Daniel Day Lewis in this <laughs> yeah, town. He is. Oh, he's no sitting shit. down. That's cool. DC, what is happening? <laughs> we are so stoked to be back here at the DC Improv to see all of you. Thanks for coming out. Glad you, uh, you know, 
made it through all of that shit. Um, <laughs> we are very happy to see you here. Uh, this is a... Uh, it's been weird getting back on the road, but I think we're going to have some fucking fun tonight. What do you think about a that? A little bit. I think so. Yeah. All right. We kind of shot ourselves in the foot with the title, though. That's, that's mm. a problem yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, my, fuck. I wish my mom would shoot me in the foot sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> foot if you're lucky. Uh, all right. Ready? Yeah. Cool. My name is Andrew Jupin. Eric Siska. Chris Cabin. Steven Sadak. And we are We Hate Movies from New York City. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. <laughs> it has been... A minute since we have been in your town, and we're happy that we're here when it's not too muggy outside. Yep. We all got <laughs> phlegmy before just to get our Stallones really going. You know, it's the, it's the best yes. way to do it. Oh, and yeah, totally. We are also slowly becoming the same person, yeah. as you've probably noticed if you're a regular listener. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because ah. Steve and I are wearing the same shirt, yep. and this is not... This was not intentional. Uh -huh. We did not know we were wearing the same shirt. Yeah. But I packed light, and it's yeah. like, this is what needs to happen. We this thought, is you know my what? Wednesday shirt. Uh -huh. And we thought it'd be really stupid to be up here tonight in the same shirt. And you guys like stupid stuff. You listen to this show. <laughs> yeah, sure. Clearly, stupid connoisseurs. Look, Rocco's modern life chic is yeah. just well, you know what? wondrous. Dude, yeah, wonderful Eric stuff. Big Head, dude. Look at this, huh? <laughs> But, you know, now you don't know who Eric is and who Steve is, I so I'll, yeah. I'll start Switch stripping. Back and forth. It's a real twin scenario. Should we recreate the poster? Let's yeah, let's, let's, yeah, let's do it. Oh, look at this. Where? Well, no, you got to keep the shirt on for the poster. Yeah, yeah, the though. poster has to be. The poster move. But I wish Arnold didn't have that shirt on. Well, if Arnold didn't have the shirt on, then Danny wouldn't have the shirt on. And there we go. That. There, that's, look at there that. Get up there more. There we go. Danny, we are right. the twins, the titular twins. We didn't have uh, sunglasses. So that's a little better. <laughs> Get a Zardoz oh, shirt. Oh, should we unbutton them? I should, oh, no, I got nothing. No! On. Steven! <laughs> no! Steven! I can go one low. Whoa, no, yeah, no. look at this. No, no. Look, I got Zardoz, and look, he's kind of nude, and now yes. you can be kind of nude. I am wearing a red diaper underneath me. Ooh. <laughs> I wish this diaper was red in this film. Oh, oh me too. please. Because that would mean his ass was bleeding. <laughs> Pardon me? <laughs> the only to, reason. The only reason. Off to a fantastic start. <laughs> uh, we are, of course, talking about Stop or My Mom Will Shoot from 1992, directed by Roger Spottiswood. He's a guy who's made real movies and also this movie. Yes, um, indeed. Uh, Roger Ebert famously called this one of the worst films ever made. Yeah. It's one of those times where you could tell he was really pissed off if you watch the video because he says, like, that and that's it. Like, Siskel goes for two minutes and he's like, yeah, it's the worst movie I've ever seen. Goodbye. Hey, hey Raj, we need you to kind of draw that out, man. This is a TV show we're making here. Okay. Any other thoughts? It sucked. Oh, my God. So there we how go. many people watched the movie in preparation for this? Couple okay. folks. Okay. You, you, li you, 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 you like that? You so, like hang on a second. Someone over here says you tried. What does that mean? You fell asleep drunk? <laughs> yeah, I would have to. I got through the trailer and that was. Hey, you know what? Then you got through the whole thing. That was the movie. They showed it off. <laughs> Don't worry movie. about it. We were talking beforehand. The, the scene that opens the trailer, that literally, it had to be an SL, SNL sketch that they said no to. He's like, well, yeah. I'm going to make a movie out of it. <laughs> I think yeah, that's the best show way to you, do it. Lorne. Get ready for this, Lorne. Going to make this into a movie that everyone's going to love, man. I'm gonna, watch out. I'm going to make a movie where my mom just cannot get enough of my dick. <laughs> just cannot that's, stop talking about what, it. This, this, this was such a bizarre movie because it's basically a rom-com between a son and mother. <laughs> yes. Correct. Yeah. Correct. It's a will they, won't they, and they sort of do. Yes. <laughs> Pretty close. I mean, she leaves for the airport, and then he gets her, and she agrees to stay. That's half of the rom-com's journey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He literally chases her in the airport. The, the famous yeah. fucking rom-com thing. He actually does it three times. <laughs> I never thought I would see L.A. acted three specific points in a movie, <laughs> unless that movie has something to do with taking place at LAX, which is uh, not the, the case here. No, the terminal all. has less airport scenes. It's <laughs> and that takes place in an airport. Man, that would have been in uh, Stallone trying to do that accent. Oh, Nobody yeah, would have been able. You would have to have subtitles on the movie. Hey, yeah. man, you got a couple ketchup packets or what, man? Yeah, uh, you're supposed to be from a fake Eastern European country. Yeah, man, it's what I'm doing. <laughs> well, well yeah. St Stallone, as Italian as anybody, is playing jo Joe Bamowski in this film. <laughs> Sounds right. Say so, screenplay. <laughs> 
And then Estelle Getty, who's famous for playing one of the, you know, most acerbic, uh, whip-smart Italians on television, the Golden Girls. They're all, it's a Polish family. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. I love pierogi and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> The kielbasa. Uh, the kielbasa. What the hell's a kielbasa, man? What uh, are you killing? Why? I just like a, I like a lot of cabbage salads. Do you have cabbage salads for me, mama? What's the meatball situation? <laughs> <laughs> they do eat bread, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what's funny is that might be uh, like a leftover thing from uh, the like original draft and casting choices from the movie. Because as I uh, hear it correctly... Sylvester Stallone was not the first person they wanted for this movie. Yeah, uh, a man named Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, fooled him Apparently, to do this. Apparently, a giant ruse. He was like building up all this like hype that he was going to do the movie so Stallone would get but, it and tank his career. What is this like Machiavellian move from <laughs> Sylvester Stallone? Everyone um, thinks that I'm a stupid bodybuilder, but actually I'm quite calculating. <laughs> No, I'm it's hilarious, Sly. No, no, you've got to do... That's, all the dick jokes are fantastic. Oh, no, you're, doing, you're going to steal stop or my mom will shoot. Oh, that will ruin my whole week. Oh, I hired a, a guy to rewrite the film and I added the diaper scene. Let's see if he goes for it. Oh, my, I cannot believe he did it. Oh, Sly, this screenplay is so precious. You are the only one that I trust with it. I have a horrible scheduling conflict. At the same time, I have to go film something no one will ever see called True Lies. Because that's literally what the fucker yeah. did. It's, yeah. Oh, it's a small movie with a James Cameron. I don't know if you've heard of yeah. that guy. Oh, actually, he's here with me. Do you want to speak to him? I'm kidding. He wouldn't want to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, Schley. Yeah, you're in a diaper. Yeah, I'm watching Jamie Lee Curtis strip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what's happening with me, buddy. See you oh, later. Oh, the last thing, if you ever did... I would hate it if you did the movie Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> that would just break my heart if you did... Don't do it. Oh, no, he's going to take it. <laughs> Jimmy Chase. Uh, yeah, hello, who is it? Sloan Residence. Uh, yeah, it is me, <coughs> James Cameron. <laughs> I'm calling, oh, it's just me, it's your friend Arnold. <laughs> like, what a son of a bitch. It's, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. I mean, my respect just goes up for Arnold by the day. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, my God, yeah, it skyrockets. It's great. Treat it like a war. If it's going to be like that, do it. Go all out, I say. This so, movie is yeah. barely 87 minutes, isn't it? Woo. It Struggling. tries yep. every which way to pad this runtime. You get like almost the full opening credits over like static shots of Los Angeles. Yeah. Why start the movie until you credit the costume designer <laughs> in this action comedy? We almost have a cartoon opening. It's Fuck like this, <laughs> dude. You gotta go full cartoon opening yeah, yeah. to do it. You like, either do it or you don't. Yes. And like yeah. the, the, it starts out, there's like red font on white. It already looks kind of like goofy and shitty and you're like, uh-oh. <laughs> Kind of smells like a cartoon opening. And then the title card comes up, okay? And then a little cartoon granny starts walking out, and I'm like, here we go. This is going to be the best two and a half minutes of this movie. Yeah, yeah the that's it. No, it doesn't it's just, do it. It's like an animated stop sign, and that's it. That's it. I wish there was a, a cartoon granny pulling hold a on, car hold on. over. Grampy. Gra Grampy? It has yes. to be Grampy? Well, okay. On this show, we say Grampy. Grampy's only. Okay, then. But what if, what if it's an Estelle Getty? That's a granny. Yeah, it's a granny. Well, she, well, granny uh, Shaggers. I guess, well, I, man, I never gendered Grampy. I guess that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a catch-all, but I, oh, I would say a, Grampy. an inclusive I, term. I, I, I will say I Grampy. Grampy sounds fun, doesn't it? It does. Now, sound. Like, well, what did you think we were talking about when we were talking about <laughs> Granny Shaggers? Oh, right, that one. Well, there should be Grampy Shaggers, too. I think there there are! are there definitely! Many. In the same show, there are Grampy Shaggers. Oh, my there God. There are people here. Okay. All right. All right. I got one question. There are other people here. But let's skip through the Grampy stuff first. Now, okay, sure. Uh, now, I still get he was always kind of like a, a smaller lady and stuff. Indeed. Almost always. I yes. had thought... She was born 63 years old. I... <laughs> just, she it was like a Benjamin Button thing, but it never <laughs> went... Forwards no, or, backwards. or backwards, it was just trapped well, in amber. Yes. That's what's a wild thing, right? Is she spent literally 10 years across five television shows playing a character that was like 25 old, years older than she actually was. And so many of you don't know that. No, yeah. <laughs> it's because she came pre-shrunk, you yeah. know? Yeah. And you're like, no, this fucking old lady is like 107 years old. It has to be. Dude, now, she, grampies she, and grannies, they shrink with age. Yes. Yes. 
Does, does, does that include the skeleton and like their teeth and stuff? Yeah, I think yeah, your yeah. bones are literally deteriorating. I think it's called osteoporosis. You are oh. disappearing from the earth. Wow. So they get like the skeleton gets thinner. I, yes. I need yes. to sign up for that. <laughs> that might help me out. You're, You're already, already on the signed list. up, dude. Don't worry about it. You didn't have a well, choice. Maybe I'll that's... be the one that doesn't age. No, I will. Uh, those sure. giant fuckers always die early, though, man. Yeah. So you want to start shrinking. <laughs> I think that the that disease we're talking about of like being born old is Walter Matthau disease. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Because that dude yeah. never looked young. No. Him it's and like, Estelle Getty were both in Metropolis in their 40s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Matthau is the father in this? I could picture him as, uh, oh, as a, a Polish fella. Well, it's interesting because they only bring up the father twice in this movie. Once, it's a very sad scene where they're like, I, I don't know if, if Sly can have emotions or anything like that. The other one is when Sly is bent over with these ass huggers yeah. on his ass, screaming for his father to stop Estelle Getty. <laughs> this is really something. Wild scene. It's These three in the morning. Pants, man. This movie his is a psychosexual <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> he is it literally is all just, it's like, Freud, like Freud would be like, that, that's too much. <laughs> that's not. Wow, you no, have lots of problems. <laughs> He's presenting, Good luck with that. presenting his ass to the camera. Yes. yes. A little something for people who like that. I oh, suppose, yeah. you know? See, you missed this. You didn't get to this part. <laughs> <laughs> a little something for the ladies. There he presents a, himself to yeah, the film. <laughs> no, yeah, you know what? You're right. Where was it in the trailer? That would move some fucking tickets. I, I don't. Know. I don't know. <laughs> to Stallone's credit, it looked nice. It's, it's, it's a beautiful nice piece of work. Ass. It does. Nice it's a ass. beautiful piece of work. But yeah, we the had. Ass has never been the problem. And in the trailer, we had to make room for uh, Estelle Getty making a joke uh, about her son's dick before yep. you even watch the movie. Uh, my son's bigger than yours. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Uh, so. Gross. We're going through, we're in the bottom dredges of the buddy cop comedy <laughs> in the early 90s here. So it's like, is it an alien? Is it a fucking dog? Is it a dog? No, it's just, just, yeah. How about his mom this time sure. kind of a thing? Sure, that's what the dart hit on the fucking board. It was just like, oh, he's partnered <laughs> with a mother. Okay, great. Did they both uh, convince Burt Reynolds to do Cop and a Half? <laughs> they both, they teamed up and finally got oh it. Oh my God, I cannot believe he did that. <laughs> Oh, Bert, are you embarrassed yourself today? Uh, uh, Arnie, uh, I was uh, reading this script for uh, Cop and a Half. What do you think about it? Oh, don't do that movie. That would break my heart, Bert Reynolds. Uh, I would hate if you were to steal uh, that good movie from me. All right, I'm going to call my agent. I'll do it for half. <laughs> I can't imagine that uh, Arnold considered Bert Reynolds competition at any point, huh? <laughs> I'm taking out all of Hollywood. Oh, well, okay. That's oh, hey, Kevin Costner. Amazing. Good to talk to you again. We're all good friends. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the climate crisis is coming, and this Water World movie that I'm doing, it's going to be, oh, it's going to break box office records, dude. We already have Dennis Harper signed. Honestly, with Arnold, it would have, because seeing him glistening wet for two, two hours or two and a half, that's a long movie. Him with gills, that's pretty cool. That oh, would do it yeah. for him. That, that would work. Hey, Bruce Willis, I just received the script that I think is mind-blowing, but unfortunately, I have a, another commitment to make. But here you go. It's the script for Hudson Hawk. <laughs> it's going to be a total banger. <laughs> it definitely won't nearly cut the throat of your career. <laughs> do you uh, like Danny Aiello? Great. Hey, Steven Seagal. No, yeah, you're okay. You're anyway. fine. You're just, it's just... Oh, that that yeah, I don't, do I don't to need himself. to sabotage your career, actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to kick a man when he's down. <laughs> Plus, he told me about that dungeon he plans on making, so he's good. <laughs> Specs are good. So this movie tries to give you a plus 10 right out of the barrel because you get Ving Rhames in this throwaway, yeah. nothing scene where uh, in the cre he's not called anything in the movie itself, but in the credits, he's called Mr. Stereo. Which also makes no sense because Stallone is on an undercover thing to buy what we are told are TV VCRs. That's right. So I don't know how Mr. Stereo got involved yeah. in this. He should be Mr. TV VCR. <laughs> and it's, again, like, as low stakes as that gets, he still takes his gun out and is firing wildly <laughs> on the <laughs> Heaven the fuck forbid these VCRs go to the wrong people. Yeah. Just be like, you know, struggling parents try to entertain their children with Disney tapes or something. They're trying to buy a hot TV VCR. Hey, Come man, on. you keep this shit up. Circuit City's going to go right out of business. <laughs> <laughs> That's not cool. Hey, I man, you want somebody to beat the Wiz or what? It's <laughs> fucked up, man. I invested in media play. I thought that thing was going to sell. 
Yeah, I love throwing my money away, man. Whatever. <laughs> Suncoast video, yep. Premier stockholder there. For so yeah, for VCRs, his partner Tony gets shot in the ass, or does he get glass yes. in his ass or something? Uh, I think it's both. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Nice. And it's like you can't because he's like, oh, I can't that, believe these guys shot my partner in the ass. Is this working for anybody? Uh, is, yeah, this, so is this comedically sound? His partner has the red diaper. Oh, oh that would be Jess. His, his ass is bleeding. Maybe it's the I same diaper. It. But also, like the thing about this is, like, I know it's PG thirteen, but. What fucking child is gonna go see this movie? Like they're saying butt all over the place. Mm -hmm. like, it is an ass. That cop <laughs> got shot in the ass and yeah. then got glass in his ass. Glass and yes. ass. It's but like yeah, we're not gonna use the light. We're not gonna use PG thirteen for the language. It's only gonna be for how uncomfortably sexual this movie gets. Yeah, for incestuous the themes. Exactly. Rated PG thirteen for incestuous <laughs> themes. Yeah. And some gun violence. Uh, Mostly incestuous themes. Yeah. So we get that little preamble, like, uh, excitement there. You know, he busts everyone for selling hot VCRs. Yeah. Probably kills four people in this raid. Oh, for sure, yeah. And then immediately he goes to this bar, and he's trying to call his mother to don't come to town. It's a pathetic scene. Him just <laughs> up there calling all night. Well, uh, he called... He's in L.A. He's calling his mom in Newark. It's like 11 o'clock at night. It's fucking 2 o'clock in the morning in Newark, and she's 105 years old. <laughs> it's not. She's not going to pick uh, up. Dude. Yeah, but I think she might be a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, never saw might. her age, dude. I never saw her age. Oh, Fuck. <laughs> My mom lives forever, man. Uh-oh, stake through my heart. Yeah, uh, I mean, she's definitely old enough to sleep in a casket. <laughs> Well, also Sly, <laughs> this is the only real evil left. <laughs> <laughs> Interview with a vampire. Uh, it's a good one. But the thing is, though, Steve, she is seen later in this film vacuuming at like 3.15 a.m. Yeah. Okay. It's entire po entirely possible. He's like, yeah, she's up with her scratcher tickets, man. <laughs> She'll be up all night is with that shit. she an amphetamine problem? What's yes, going on? That, that would make sense. She's yeah. an old lady from Newark, New Jersey. Yeah. It's entirely possible. It's true. Who knows why that husband what? died? The, the fucking scene when he's calling her, they, they just to lay it on more like, it's like, baby, please pick up. Please pick up. And like, they're not showing that it's his mother. She's just like carefully play play. If you if the title hadn't come up before, you would think it's his girlfriend, an well, ex-girlfriend. That's the that's all of the humor that this movie trades on. It's like every time you think it's his girlfriend, oops, it's his mother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You would think the, the, the girlfriend might be talking about how he has a nice package. Uh-uh-uh. <laughs> it's, it's his mother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it looked great when he was a baby. So I guess oh. uh, now, I mean, she probably, she oh. walks in on him at once, but I guess she was probably peeking for a while. I would oh, imagine. yeah. She's keeping Mom, she's it's keeping my time. college graduation. Get out of here, man. <laughs> Wait, why is he naked at his college graduation? <laughs> well, no, he's in the dorm room, oh, you know, I preparing see, beforehand. Okay. And he's going to streak. Maybe he's flasher guy. Oh, dude. yeah, yeah. Streak yeah. against the stage. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm funny as fuck, man. I'll streak at college graduation, whatever. <laughs> He is in a sort of uh, appropriate relationship with uh, Joe Beth Williams. Fuck yeah. It's not very, yeah, because she's his boss. No, age appropriate. Yeah, yeah age, age appropriate. appropriate. Professionally, it's horrendously <laughs> problematic. Pretty bad. It's 1992. This woman worked her ass off to become a fucking like, lieutenant in the police department. I had to put up with all that sexism. And she's like, I'm going to start fucking my employees. Yes. <laughs> That's like, going to get me the respect I deserve at this position. Not only fucking one of my you know, underlings here, one of my detectives or whatever, but doing nothing to hide the relationship yes. from the rest of the squad room. They're like making out with the curtains open. She's screaming at him, but you didn't fucking call me last night. Close the door. And of course, the one person who calls him on this, a guy, Ross, is a complete maniac. <laughs> he's like, as soon as she walks in, he's like, oh my God, my captain's ass is fantastic. Did I make you pissed off, Sly, or what? <laughs> huh? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I saw her ass, yeah. Well, this guy Ross is supposed to be like, you know, the antagonist for Sly, like at the police department. He's the only guy who's like, it's fucked up that your mother's here. It's fucked up that your mother fucked up my murder investigation. It's fucked up she lied about it. Uh, how many ways is this fucked up? And the movie's like, look at that snake. Son of a bitch. Look at that piece of yeah, shit. That it's asshole. highly inappropriate that you're having sex with our boss and we're both on the same career track. <laughs> I, it seems like that might be an advantage. This guy Ross is just legitimately trying to solve this murder. Yeah. And he's... I just can't so, believe it. <laughs> Joe Beth Williams has given him the business in the office, you know, and she's like, you didn't call last night, this, that, the other thing. And he's like, look, I promise you I was just at the bar with the guys. And, like, this bartender narked on him? Because <laughs> she's like, oh, yeah, well, Barney the bartender said that you were on the fucking phone all night. And he's like, all right, I know you're not going to believe me, but listen to this. 
I was calling my mother, man. There is Definitely not some other sexy lady. There is no torture on earth that would let me admit that. I was at a bar in the middle of the night calling my mother. <laughs> I know, but no, I got a huge gambling problem. Yeah. I would make up anything else. Much easier. Much easier to deal uh, with. I'm a Nazi sympathizer. Works. I was calling my Nazi uh, friends. I yeah. love selling cocaine to kids. <laughs> Oh, so she's flying in and coming in, and she's telling every single person on the plane about when he was a baby, and he had, he had this, like, pee-pee floppy cock, <laughs> and it was just like, he was pissing the bed right and left, and she manages to get through the entire plane, the pilots, the flight attendants, every she's single She's worked passenger. her way through this plane like a fucking virus, dude. dude it's disgusting. <laughs> it was pre-9-11. The old ladies can go in the cockpit. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, like, that's sitting one on the, of the co-pilot's lap. Yeah. Just hold on one second. You got to see this picture of my baby's dick. Hold on. <laughs> but, I got to find it. And that's the thing. is like the joke of this movie, which I think is bizarre, is like everyone's like, oh, my God. Because like, the, the joke is he's waiting for her, and everyone's coming off the plane. Tittering is like, oh, my God, that's the guy that, had a, that was a baby once. <laughs> it's like, that's everyone. Like, I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> yes, like, they're like, oh, my God, he's, he used to wear diapers. Like, yeah, appropriately when I was zero to two years old. <laughs> There's a dude that comes out, and he's like, oh, hey, you must be Joey. I peed the bed, too. No fucking shit. We all did. <laughs> everyone in this room has pissed in their own bed at least 15 times. <laughs> In the last year or... Yeah. <laughs> uh, what was that time? There was a St. Patrick's Day where I took down like oh. a whole bottle of Jameson. Uh, oh, no. It was... I thought a closet was a toilet. Oh, okay. So happen. I at least got out of bed. That is right? appropriate. Yeah. That's I, fine. I yeah. found a door. Yeah. I mean, you know, in Europe they call them water closets or whatever. It's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's where you store it. And you can't put rubber sheets in the closet, though. Yeah. That's a problem. I throw I coats guess. and piss in there. It's yeah, that's, fine. I mean, it's fine. You buy new coats, I guess. It's the there's like a sexy group of stewardesses that walk past. They're again chuckling because they and like they, I think it's still Getty's like showing them pictures of him as a baby, and like she's like and he's single, ladies. Oh, and oh my! Soul one of them dies. looks him dead in the eyes. She's like, yeah, I got a thing for guys and pampers, and I'm like, pardon? Huh? <laughs> I guess like a joke, but well, it's a, it's a it weird one. Be. But no, it would have to be like she'd be like, "Yeah, I have a thing." <laughs> pampers. She's like, "I have a thing." <laughs> That's the thing for guys and pampers. Yep, you're totally right, Chris. It is a fucking hey, Bob Spotters would take two, man. <laughs> <laughs> because the way that she just said it was meaning she's into, into it. it. <laughs> And not that's making fine. fun of him. That's fine if you're going to follow that line through the rest of the movie, but you really don't, except for the one scene. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that might be why Stallone was attracted to the project, because I believe he's a caca guy, right? Well, yes, that's he, the is. he is. Yes. <laughs> Can we change a, a diaper to a glass table, man? <laughs> you're, you're telling me, Roger, I can't get one glass table. Can't get one glass table. I'm Sly Sylvester Stallone. I can't get one glass table. Oh, 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 Joey, your table's so dirty here. Is that... Is that a pile of feces? <laughs> <laughs> Glad I brought the Windex. <laughs> it's not rubber. Nope, it's not rubber. Okay. Oh, boy. So we had to ask a couple nights ago in Boston, uh, does everybody know what we're talking about? No. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. So supposedly, yeah. unconfirmed, yeah. Stallone likes to sit under a glass table and, you know, watch some ladies... Do Have it. a show. <laughs> Have a big this show. This dude just remembered it halfway through the story and just went, oh, right. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Oh, fuck, that's right. Don't everybody God go straight it. to Google. Don't, please. <laughs> or to the exits. Either or. Uh, <laughs> neither would be. Well, they've been sealed, so yeah, yeah, that's, well. that's fair. <laughs> Uh, but so he's like, oh, Ma, it's, oh, why'd you have to come here, Ma? Now you're telling everyone about me being a baby once. <laughs> She's got some line like, oh, and he got his pee pee stuck in his zipper. And I was like, oh, that's man. a bad one. That's <laughs> really that's bad. That's really, because not everybody does that. No, that's not, that's that's, not a phase. That, Hopefully not. No, that's a private one. Oh, yeah, he's been zipping his dick in his fly for <laughs> two years now. We can't get him to break it. What a oh, bad habit. I, I, just, I just thought that's how it worked. <laughs> I have franks and beans every day. <laughs> every day. Honey, you gotta put it back in before you zip your pants back up. <laughs> so I don't know, that's what parents have to do, right? I guess. Because, like, kids don't know fucking anything. I mean, that's an intuitive one. Is I it? I mean, like, you know, I don't know. That's like fight or flight response. <laughs> sure. I what if you got that. a real dumb kid, man? Yeah, that's, that's true. true. That's uh, true. He's like, hey, Ma, you want to go rip off Lethal Weapon real quick? <laughs> I'm going to pull over so we can rip off Lethal Weapon. Listen, Ma, before we get back to the house, we got to film a scene for the trailer. <laughs> yeah, now put, just put a scene from Lethal Weapon in it. I, <laughs> oh, my God, he did it. 
cut bleeding. Wow, he is so stupid. <laughs> Uh, do you think Arnold Schwarzenegger saw this in theaters? Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, he was there. Absolutely. Dude, he's like fucking Max Katie in Cape Fear, dude. <laughs> There's a huge honking Arnold cigar. Just, yeah, yeah. ah! <laughs> he Stogie. actually do it! Ah! <laughs> How does he think we compete for Action Man of the Year? <laughs> and this scene is there's a jumper, like a suicidal guy that's yeah. having problems with his mother. Uh-oh! Oh. Weird. Very so, weird. Yeah, then he goes up to try to talk him down because he thinks he's Martin Riggs. And then <laughs> yes. the, the mother gets the megaphone. She does. And this is exactly the sketch they pitched to SNL yep. right here. Yep. This whole thing where he goes and uh, at some point, his colleagues must hate him. The entire LAPD is going along with whatever Estelle Getty does in this movie. Nobody stops her. Nobody's like, this is a bad idea to give this. There's somebody who's about to commit suicide. Maybe don't give the little old woman the megaphone. Well, can I hop in for a sec and say that it's the LAPD and they've made bigger mistakes? They have indeed. They have indeed. I don't want to over. I don't want to pay that one no, no, no. over. G uh, give the lady the megaphone. I hope he jumps. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm just. Uh, I'm just pure evil. Sorry. <laughs> I'm uh, Mark Furman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna call it your, your Nazi friends, dude. <laughs> That's right. That guy's never appeared in a narrative film. Just many documentaries. Yes. <laughs> many, many. Yeah, he's got a lot of IMDb credits. <laughs> <laughs> History Channel's special on Nazi plate collectibles. <laughs> 17 films called The Thin Blue Line. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, so like the the joke is like as uh, Sly is on the on the ledge trying to talk this kid down, she's doing her bit about like, oh my son Joey's so great and all this shit. And he's, yep, and it know, sort of escalates yeah. into and you can see it right. This is a sketch. It is very much like written out in beats that escalate appropriately to like the rules of comedy writing. So like we cut back and she's got the megaphone. We cut back again. She's got the fucking photo album yeah. stretched out. Like it's all fine if this movie was three and a half minutes and it yep. aired at 12.45 a.m. Also, it's like on a fucking Sunday morning, okay? <laughs> just had a scene where she was showing photos of his cock to the whole plane. Now she's yeah. showing it to the LAPD. To the fire department, everybody who yeah. wants to take a look, honestly, at this and point. Yeah, so many people take that offer up. Well, just <laughs> pictures in public, man. This lady's a fucking terrorist. <laughs> Yes. There's no two ways about it. Well, because that's the, I mean, that, that's, that was the best thing about analog pictures. You had to bring those fucking things right now. I guess there's people like showing, you know. You oh, you're phone. saying so if they had the foresight to remake yes. Stop or My Mom Will they Shoot won't. Today, yeah. you know, uh, who's doing it? Who's playing the lady, the well, mom? Uh, well, I don't, I don't know who it is, but she would be obsessed with fucking Facebook and she'd be a fucking nightmare. Ellen yeah, Burstyn? Yeah, totally. Oh, oh, Ellen Burstyn. oh, like a Susan Sarandon. I mean, she played an obnoxious mother in a movie already. So that or could maybe work. Elaine Bracco. <laughs> Oh my God, my Polish son! <laughs> you know what? It kills me to say that I'm Polish in this movie. You have a Polish cock in that building. <laughs> I'm Lorraine Brokowski. <laughs> yeah, you know the the, the story's up, updated, so I'm obsessed with QAnon. <laughs> I love <On> Facebook. <laughs> Hey, man, this sounds right on, man. You believe in some cool stuff you found on the <laughs> internet, just like me, man. Joey, Joey, have you met the new, the new Kennedy Jr.? John F. Kennedy Jr., he's fantastic. You gotta meet him. His name's Vincent Fuchsia. He's like a six-foot Italian, definitely John F. Kennedy Jr. This fucking brain. So, people. sadly, this movie does not end after this scene ends. We have to go to the house. I, this is you saying it's sad he doesn't jump. Yes. I, oh, no, short sad. movie, well, good movie. You, listen, you are fucking waiting for this jumper scene to like fade to black, and then it comes back up, and someone who's been hosting the show goes, once again, R.E.M. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Saturday yeah, Night yeah. Live continues. By the way, the jumper realizes how much worse he has it, so yes. he's like, I will go on living. <laughs> I yeah. guess. And then, so he go, they go back home, and of course, immediately... Uh, uh, she starts vacuuming at night, and this is the ass shot. That's the ass shot. This but when the they're ass. bringing the baggage and stuff, like she, you know, he drops open this suitcase full of pineapple chunks. Look, I just wanted to make sure your cum tasted good. Okay, <laughs> I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> I just, I, it was very, very important to me, Joey. Is Joey, that, Joey, your cum, your cum always tasted terrible. <laughs> You're gonna need to have good tasting cum to nail a lady. I interviewed all of your ex girlfriends for Newark, and it was hundred percent across the board piss poor tasting cum. <laughs> La so you eat this suitcase full of pineapples, young man. Ladies and gentlemen, give me one minute. Is that a thing? 
Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. What? Did you think we've been talking about this all day, just fucking I, with you? I didn't know. That's I didn't Dude, know. Dude, yeah. Listen. Try it out. All yeah. right. All right. <laughs> I learned from Nip Tuck, and then I Googled it. That's the well, wait, everybody, remember game. where you were the time a human being on the planet Earth said, I learned that from Nip Tuck. <laughs> really? Was, it the, was the whole episode about that? Or? No, it was the opener. It was the cold open. Oh, yeah. He was just like, uh, uh, one of them is well, asking... Was having breakfast or something? Yeah, they're having breakfast. Was it Dr. Doom or the other one? It was Dr. Doom who nice. wanted his cum to taste good. Uh-huh. And they put it as, like, cereal or something? Or no, I, I, don't, I think it was just the pineapple juice. That's all he's worried about, uh, just like Estelle Getty. Okay, so they weren't eating cum. They were, <laughs> all right, I thought they were eating cum at breakfast. No, before. that's it's not what I... No, 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 no. Well, it's also a weird thing, because it's a bunch of cans of just, like, Dole chopped pineapple, and it's like she's saying, like, oh, well, you know, I had to bring it from Jersey for you. And it's like, how, how stupid do you want to make this woman? This, <laughs> this lady do has dementia. That's do they have grocery stores. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the story because she's, she, it's one thing if she's like obsessed with her son, overbearing, yada, yada. She starts cleaning his gun like no human being would ever do. It's crazy. And now, like, now maybe this is me talking about my family, but her grampies and grannies. Cle- like clean these days. I feel like maybe this is an older trope. I feel like the new crop of mm-hmm. grannies and grampies are just like filthy. <laughs> yeah, you know, just like live in their own crapulence. Well, well y- <laughs> you didn't have you didn't have shows like hoarders before yeah, to see them true. all. Right? Yeah, yeah really they like, blow uh, the lid off the whole thing, dude. Listen, dude, they've been here the whole time. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Now they should do like a granny shagger for hoarders. You know. Yeah. Because well, those so the people, hoarders turn it into a dating show, essentially. They don't yes. have the room, Eric. <laughs> They're hoarders. Where are they going to have sex? Uh, yeah, Bob, I had to I break can't... up with Sharon because she wanted to fuck, but it was on a pile of dead cats. <laughs> yeah. As it always is. Yeah. It's always a pile of dead cats, dude. <laughs> those poor time. people. Those, poor, those cats. poor freezers. Those poor cats. Well, Kill those sure. people. Execute them. <laughs> But this gives a, a Mo for a slice. Of course, she cleans the whole gun the next morning. Mom! And uh, he gets to say, uh, you got rid of the bluing yeah. on my gun. He had, you, you, just to make sure you know, he knows something about guns. <laughs> the bluing? Just, the bluing, which is What's what they that? make. They make, uh, it essentially makes rusts black. So like it oxidizes is black. That so it looks sounds Wait a awesome. Do you use pineapple for that? Or yes, what? you do. Yeah. You rub it with pineapple. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> what are you, a mercenary? How do you know this? <laughs> I mean, the pineapple stuff, sure, that's at least, you know, it's good to know. But Chris is yo. like, if you are stuck in a jungle <laughs> and you have to clean your gun and there's no cleaning solution around, Got yes. it. find yourself a, a pineapple. pineapple. You can <laughs> polish that baby Chris right Cabin, up. colon, soldier of fortune. <laughs> Soldier of tropical fortune only, though, dude. You don't know about pineapple cum, and you're telling me I'm supposed to trust you with my my background in black ops? No one should trust me for anything. Okay. (laughs) Okay. I I do love this scene because, like, you know, he gets all pissy, and, like, you're right, the mom thing. It's awful. You have to find that hysterical, like a grown man who's bulky or whatever being, like, oh, uh, acting like a child. Like that's yeah. you really that's have to. That's the pitch, and he's going back and forth between mom and ma. Yeah, yeah. dude, you from Newark, man? That is a ma. There is yeah. no fucking second M or O anywhere to be found <laughs> oh. there. Those what? don't exist in Newark. There's a few Scud missile mommies in there too. Oh, yeah. You yeah. might have missed it there. Yeah, they get blended in. It's terrible. Those. Mommy. That just ma- Mommy, that makes come my- clean me. Every time I hear it, my asshole just goes up and up and up and up. I just start I mean, closed for business. Exact mundo. <laughs> he uh, so she like realizes that she upset him. So then she decides to buy a gun from Richard Schiff. Of course, like yeah, totally. Yep. It's awesome to see Richard Schiff in this movie, and it turns out once you see his little Richard Schiff cameo, because there's another guy with a little bit of a larger role here who played the lawyer in Jurassic Park, there's two people in this movie that have been eaten by Tyrannosaurus Rexes on screen. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's Richard Schiff in Lost World and the lawyer uh, in the first one. Yeah, the lawyer Pretty on the cool. toilet is uh, one of the bad guys in this. Wish a lawyer, or wish a, wish a lawyer, wish a T-Rex came through Los Angeles and fucking ate Estelle Getty in this movie. I, I mean, better that. movie. Yes. He definitely, if dinosaurs got involved, why not? Rex on the loose, I love yeah, that. The Grampies of Earth. And she just is like, oh, hello there, because she remembers them because she's so old, you see. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ma, oh, George. Ma, I saw this in the movie once, man. You just don't move and they can't see you. But then she can't stop talking. Mm, yes. And it just eats her right off the street. 
Mr. T Rex, awesome. Mr. T Rex, have you heard about my Joey's dick? <laughs> have you heard? Come down here. Come down. You have to see pictures of Joey's dick. <laughs> <laughs> But this gun scene, again, like, so she's like, I just want to buy a gun for my son, Joey. And then, like, it takes, like, four days. And I like, I don't have that kind of time. And it's like, oh, live in the world, ma'am. Like, understand that you it cannot is... just pick it up and go. You're, I mean, like, so, not in California, at least. <laughs> no. Well, it's awesome, though, because they're like, oh, you know, uh, Richard Schiff is like, oh, there's a 14-day cool-down period. And then, like, later when she's kvetching to Stallone, she's like, and then they wanted me to cool off or something. I don't, and I was like, again, how stupid are you making this character? Why does she just not know things that people know? And I guess there's this guy who becomes a big character for me. He's like, big, this dude looks like if uh, you were making a made-for-TV movie about the wrestler Earthquake, you would hire this guy. Uh -huh. Oh, was this the guy that was in the Ernest movies? No, no, the other guy. Sudden-law that... guy. Oh, the bad guy! One of the bad guys from Son in Law, yeah. Paulie oh, Shores, right Son in Law. I guess his racket is waiting inside a gun shop mm -hmm. when yes. someone finds out about the waiting day period, which they would absolutely know about to begin with. Mm -hmm. He then goes like, "Hey, you want a gun right now?" Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, by the way, I remember where people might remember this guy from. He was in Suburban Commando, the Hulk Hogan movie. Mm -hmm. Oh, he has yeah. the great line that I think that even makes the trailer of it's like. No, man, it's the 90s. We're going to sue you. <laughs> oh, right. Because he wouldn't Litigation fight. jokes. Yeah. That was awesome. He's part, these are uh, the, the earnest guy who will show, uh, will show up in a second, and this guy, along with Otho, the holy trinity of 90s fat guy actors. Oh, oh man, Otho. Just unbelievable uh, triumvirate there. Rest in peace, Otho, man. Oh, actually, oh, yeah. rest in peace... All of the people were talking about? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like, maybe. Maybe. Actually, I think most of the cast of this movie is dead. A lot of them, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, Sorry, shit everybody. happens. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so she buys an Uzi from this guy. And again, like, and she later on, he's like, Bah, you bought an illegal gun. And she's like, oh, is it? I'm like, yes. <laughs> That's a crime. You've committed a crime. I just bought it out of a Hyundai. <laughs> It's very convenient that she instantly views the murder of one of these gentlemen. I mean, there's a, a double attempt here, but yes. uh, yeah. The well, like they're doing the gun deal, and then you see like up above on an overpass, the lawyer from Jurassic Park, and this other actor who's been in like no fewer than four Ernest movies. Yeah, uh, you know that's uh -huh. a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, are just kind of like, oh, there are the people selling the weapons that we stole and we were going to illegally sell. And there's like a drive-by, and it's just a Stel Getty, and then a stunt double, like watching this van pull away. It's kind of awesome. It's just like a little person bent over in the Stel Getty costume, <laughs> dodging this van getting shot at. We're going to give you the tracksuit too, don't worry. This incredible tracksuit she's got on. It's this awesome. Movie. It's, I, it's pretty close to a thing that I was photographed wearing in the early 90s, I will tell you right now. <laughs> At an Olin Mills portrait studio. Anybody get stuck doing that shit? Oh, fuck. It's a, you know what? I'll, I'll find it and I'll have to is, post it is online. Is your, your mom showing those photos around? Or? No, because she has <laughs> fucking human decency. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, uh, is this John Travolta's house? <laughs> yes, hello. There's a, a good movie coming out that I, w I do not want you to take from me. It's about Scientology. It's called Battlefield Earth. <laughs> I know that you're into that sort of thing. That's why I'm calling you specifically not to do this movie. Oh, I what, you're going to do it? <laughs> I can't believe. Hi. Uh, JCVD, how you doing? <laughs> yeah. No, I was thinking about being Guile in this Street Fighter movie. <laughs> oh, God. I think a perfect look, right? Yeah, I think I could do it. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. I'm on the fence a little bit. Did that oh, one Julia's help? in it. Did that one help or hurt JCVD, though? Oh, I think it, it was the beginning of the end after that, I think. Oh. It was all VOD past it's, that. I mean, we're, we're, what we're positing here is that Arnold Schwarzenegger is responsible for every bad movie ever made. Yes. And he just walked between the raindrops. <laughs> yeah, he him. was totally bulletproof <laughs> <laughs> in that filmography. Oh, wait, yeah. so is he calling himself for... Hello, Arnold, it's me. <laughs> me. Batman and Robin, let's do it. Yeah. Oh, no, I can't say no to myself. <laughs> Dude, the only way he can do it if he's leaving a message on an answering machine, he's like, hi, Arnold, it is me from the past. <laughs> Uh-oh, I remember getting my ass to Mars. What's this about? I better listen to this voicemail. Yeah, Arnold, you should do this movie with Sinbad. You fight <laughs> over a toy. <laughs> oh, okay, it's the, it's the new millennium. Let's spice it up. Collateral damage. It's <laughs> going to be a massive hit. 
Well, it would have been if it wasn't for that pesky 9-11 that happened <laughs> and ruined its box office potentials. I'm not making a joke. That's literally what happened. Yeah, yeah. That movie was going to come out. That happened. And it's a movie about terrorists that came out in 2001. Yeah, yeah. So, you yeah, know. yeah. Not the best time. No. 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 Uh, it's also just a shitty movie. It's also, bad. also, it's also yeah. not a good movie. Yeah. We get uh, the fake villain of the movie here. The real villain, of course, is Stel Getty. Yeah, but definitely. The, the, the yeah. total she terrorist. Needs, she needs to go to Arkham, man. <laughs> yes. Honestly... <laughs> She did it's just just share in a cell with the Joker. <laughs> wow, Commissioner Gordon, this cell is disgusting. Let me clean it up in here a little bit. All your guards' batons are gross. Let me polish them yeah, for you. The Joker, you're so dirty. It's nothing but knives and lint in here. <laughs> no, I don't want to see your son's dick. <laughs> and then she starts dating the penguin, because why not? <laughs> Oh, oh, my God. Gotham City News reporting today. The Riddler, the Penguin, the Joker, Two-Face have all committed suicide <laughs> inside of Arkham Asylum. She's like Hannibal Lecter. She's just whispering. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> Madman Miggs hung himself. I had nothing to do with it. Ain't I a stinker? I was just asking if he wanted to see Joey's dick. That's all I did. His last meal was pineapple, I think. <laughs> So we get back to this police precinct and a really funny like set design thing that's happening out here is like the office has signs designating what part of the office is for which kind of crimes but it's in like weird like like uh, uh, like sort old of western yeah or old something. western signage it's just like sex and which is like <laughs> sex crimes I guess it's, it's, but there's to hire like a wood craftsman to, to like carve in yeah. sex yeah. into a board. Like, it should be like a thing if you're driving into someone's like cabin in the woods and there's a sign like, welcome to the Johnsons, yeah. and it's like yeah. a cute little font, but this is like sex crimes. <laughs> <laughs> Burglary, which looks like it's spelled dirglary. <laughs> dirglary. Welcome to the Johnsons also means sex. <laughs> <laughs> it's... It's also like the kind of thing you would get at Disney World where you do the Old West photography. Like, oh, that's yes. the sign that's hanging above. Yep, totally. It's very dumb. I do like the decision, though, to put sex instead of vice. <laughs> yeah, no, well, that's just, it's specifically sex. We've spent Gambling, out, yeah. drugs, and guns are somewhere else. Okay. And this is when she goes to talk to Jo Beth Williams, and she's like, you know, she realizes that they have like a a thing together so she's trying to be a little matchmaker here and she's showing again and I mean like I know we're talking about it a lot but it happens a lot in this film she took a picture of her son and she's of a nine year old kid and is like hey you can see right here that Joey's going to have a huge it's going to get really big and it's like uh, yeah, cut it yeah, cut yeah. the movie right there yeah, stop that, the movie can't happen. That's not good. That's really bad. That's really bad to be like, oh, you just don't know how big this dick got. You just have no idea, it's, Joe. It's Actually, be, I do. It's got to be bigger than his father's by now. <laughs> his dead father. His dead father. <laughs> the, that's my favorite part also is like, she's like, oh, and this is a photo they took the day his dad died. And it was so <laughs> sad. I'm like, did they just pull everybody in together? Like, Got it. <laughs> Say cheese. Harold just dropped dead. <laughs> smile. Smile. Now, Joey, before we take this picture, here's a little bundle of socks. Just put it in there. Put it in there. You'll be fine. It'll be well. Thank me in 25 years. You'll, you'll like it. Don't worry. Also, while this is happening, you realize, because it's the first time Estelle Getty and Joe Beth Williams are in the same scene together, that they look exactly the same. Yeah. And bone chilling. Pretty scary. She also, like, that, the, the weirdest part about, like, it's not even about saying that uh, my Joey's dick is fantastic. That is besides the point. It is when she is saying, uh, Joe Beth Williams looks at her a little weird when, she's, when she says that about the dick. And, and she's like, well, I'm a woman still. <laughs> well, she me. does say that. Yeah. She says, what? I may be a mother, but I'm a woman still. <laughs> what? <laughs> So okay. you just, you, you, it doesn't matter. Relation doesn't matter at all. No, just no, dicks. No, it, I just love looking at dicks. Uh, yeah, any dick, your son's dick, you know, <laughs> your dad's dick. Brother's dick, who cares? All the dicks. It doesn't matter, relation. Well, welcome to the Johnsons. <laughs> it's also the name of a fun bar in New York we used to go uh, to. <laughs> Fuck. They, uh, so like she's now, like, she's now committing more, she's already bought an illegal gun. And she's witnessed a murder, like a material witness in a murder, and she go, pull and it's it's given to Stallone's rival in the police department to solve the case. And she pulls him aside and she's like, "I'm withholding evidence. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna solve the case." And he's like, "But ma, that's like a serious crime." <laughs> 
Man, and what if that man had a family? We should probably try and solve that crime. <laughs> Ma'am, that would get you put in Arkham. <laughs> she, she wants to like save this evidence for him to solve it to get a big promotion. <laughs> Dude, She's already up. sleeping this with the boss, and he hasn't. Totally, got like, ma, man, I'm doing literally everything possible, <laughs> man. Because there is a thing we did not talk about it. We don't need to spend too much time on it. But there is the first scene where like they come in together, and she's like, "Oh, I was thinking about whatever the fuck Acapulco or something like that. Like they had gone on a trip," and he's like. Yeah, man, that was a great time, man, right? Yeah, yeah. She's like, yeah, it was totally fine. And that was the first time. He's like, yeah, the first time I made you. And she, like, cuts him off, and you're just like, please stop talking about don't, this. Don't talk about that, please. <laughs> please stop talking about Sylvester Stallone as the first man to give you orgasms. You're, you're 42 years old. That's, please don't. No, 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 no. It's a little late in the day. Yeah. Uh, I mean, everybody's got to figure it out sometime. Sure. Yeah, true. Again, a weird thing for him to bring up when he's being yelled at by his boss... <laughs> In an office. <laughs> but, so she's withholding this evidence, and this is when it sort of turns into a buddy cop movie, because she's like, oh, they, they, they wind up at a house where this dude's being tortured. That's kind of fun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What they, like, because she knew the license plate of yeah. the van, so they tracked that down. Go to this house, this dude's being tortured. It's a total flop house with a pristine, brand new, black light marijuana poster. Yeah. Terry <laughs> everywhere. Furniture yeah. broken, like, the ceiling caving in. And brand new pop It poster. sucks to have the cops kick down the door right when you're trying to straighten the place up. Yeah. Nice new poster. <laughs> it was bouncing back one, yeah. one wall at a time. Fuck, four weeks ago we got this awesome new weed poster. <laughs> in another three weeks we were gonna clean the kitchen or some shit. They probably just bought a new toilet brush. Oh, like yeah. Just, uh, yeah. And that is the first step. It looks like the house where that detective gets shot in the head and married of East Town. It does. It. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well placed delayed yes. reaction. I love it. Excellent. This, so this is where he starts uh, uh, locking his mother in the car every once in a while because he knows she's going to you know, get in on things. And every time he is duped. Every time he tries to put her somewhere else, she shows up. But... You lock an old lady in a car, dude, that's going to get you some jail time, too, man. That's not, that Look, is not easy doing. With her, I'd let it slide. <laughs> I'm part of the LAPD. I've probably met her already. I've probably already seen Joey's dick. Yeah. yeah. See, the thing, he needs to start, like, slipping something in her drinks or something, like medicating this woman into a coma or something. Just like melatonin all day. Yeah. Just yeah, like, so she'll just slow. go to sleep and he can go to work. And hey, man, you want a melatonin omelet or what? <laughs> No, these are uh, normal gummies. They're like juju fruits. We didn't mention that she cooks that giant breakfast. <laughs> Which is it's, just What's well, this a phantom thread breakfast? It's like it's got it's like sausages yes, and eggs yeah, yeah, and yeah. cuz he was flirting with his mom just like uh, <laughs> yeah. what, what was his name? Woodcock? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Was Oh, here's it for my hungry little boy. Yeah, yeah. Well, Woodcock wasn't eating fucking cocoa pebbles, dude. I'm just going to put that out <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, that's fair. That's like, and he starts to complain to his partner about this, and they're, they're at breakfast together, and he's like, "Yeah, she made me eggs, and she made me pancakes, and like his partner, who just got shot in the ass, is like, "Yeah, man, that sounds like it sucks." <laughs> I know, yeah. no, man, I just got shot. And this is his partner, and it's like, well, I guess I'm out of the movie. Have fun, everyone. <laughs> Goodbye. Also, if your mother makes you an enormous breakfast, she's like, "Well, if you whatever you don't finish now is gonna be here when you get back." I'm like. No, it's not, because yeah. I'm not going to eat your food. <laughs> and if it is still on the table, I'm fucking 40 years old, and I'm throwing it in the garbage. At least at least finish your bucket of pineapple. <laughs> you Please. Get the, get this cum better taste good? Right. <laughs> I've learned that fact already, okay? <laughs> all right, all right, it is right. well in my brain now. Just, now I've got it. They, they li it's not me. Oh, it's, not, <laughs> like, they oh, like it's it. the audience. I see. <laughs> All right, like let's it. talk about another weird and fucking totally emotionally scarring part of this movie. Absolutely. Uh, he's like totally sweating it. Like she's really got him at his wits end and whatnot. And then all of a sudden, there's this like legitimate action scene. And you're like, wait, not in this movie. <laughs> and it's like Stallone pulls up and there's a big hostage crisis or some shit. And like these dudes come out in like heat masks and are just like firing at everyone. And you're like... Is this going to be a good movie yeah, for a couple seconds? Does movie fucking oh, yeah. start? Do it. Do it. Come and on. Then, and then it's like someone's like, wait, their leader's coming out. And like the door bursts open and there's like smoke coming out of this building and it's just Estelle Getty. And you're like, oh, it's a dream sequence. Mm, it's it's a dream sequence where he's wearing a giant diaper. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
It's so gross. And she's just like, Mommy's got to change you. Mommy's got to help you change. Yeah. He's like, no, nah, man, I don't want to change, yeah. man. He's I don't like, want to change, and man. Then, and then they cut to Joe Beth Williams, who looks exactly like his mother. He's like, I can change you. And it's like, not uh, all right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know what, folks? <laughs> He's got a poopy, floppy ass. Yeah, right yeah, this yeah, should be true. rated NC-17 for <laughs> Stallone wearing a diaper. That's it. And you know, another thing is, like, if I'm having to look at this anyway... Go the full distance, man. I Wait, want what? this dude. I want a full load in that diaper. shirt off. No shirt, shirt off. He's got a fucking bib on no. and a dumb nope. bonnet yep. and a, a fucking little pacifier in his mouth. Really make it as dumb as disgusting as possible. Well, his mouth noises kind of sound like Goo Goo Gaga. Goo Goo Baba. Goo Goo Gaga. Goo Baba. I'm going to go ahead and uh, disagree with you there. Okay. <laughs> really? Well, don't you think it's stupid that he's in a diaper and then a shirt and tie? I, I mean, I, I wonder what the set was like that day. Because, I mean, like... <laughs> Do you think it was a thing where it's like when there's like like really like, you know, like in detail sex scenes being a f like filmed in a movie and they're yeah. like, all right, everybody out yeah. except the two people that need to be yeah. here and the director's going to roll the camera. Like, Do you think it was as like, all right, man, nobody who has to be here needs to be here. I, I'm going to be in a diaper. It's totally embarrassing. I think he's like, all right, I'm, just, I'm not wearing the pants. I'm just wearing a shirt, a regular shirt and a diaper. And also, I think that's that Schwarzenegger fucked me over on this. I mean, honestly... <laughs> I've been piecing this thing together for a couple of weeks now. <laughs> now that I am standing on set in a diaper, I feel like he didn't want to do this movie at all. He Boy, man, my face is red as fuck. I would love it if the premiere of Escape Plan, uh, he's like, I just want to introduce this great movie we did with Sly, and he just cuts to the diaper scene first. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> yes, it's like Paul Rudd pulling the fucking clip bit on Conan. Yeah, just put it there. And he wakes up screaming, and then his mother comes in, and I mean, look. Also, like, I'm locking my door with this old lady, this this oh, grabby yeah. old yep. lady in my house, and no, I'm locking you. her in the basement. Uh, yeah, and <laughs> there's the a cot move. down there for you, you fucking annoying weirdo. And I'm hitting her on the head. That might be a concussion. Mm -hmm. And I'm letting Clunk. her take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Don't it's worry fine. about it. Yeah, she Ma, you need a nap after that weird fall down the stairs, man. <laughs> I don't know. She must have fallen. Sorry, paramedics. <laughs> oh, what's that? You make it a 10 part documentary series about me? That's awesome, man. <laughs> the cellar case? Yeah, I would love to be in that. I would love to be in that. Oh, yeah, you get those heart problems, Ma. Be so Something's going to happen! <laughs> I would make sure you're okay! Yeah, I scared my mom to death, man. <laughs> wait, wait, she's getting into guns now. Maybe she'll butt Dwyer herself by mistake. <laughs> right on the right in the middle of the house. Yeah. This, I mean, this house. You have got to see. There's so much baby shit all over this house. They have a gumball, a little gumball machine. You can't be doing that well, with like a rubber to ducky too. Yeah, he's infantilized. There's like a jack o' lantern, and I was like, it looks like it's maybe. April in this movie? <laughs> Maybe. Hey, man, all I know is I only see Marvel movies, man. <laughs> That's what I know. Here's my favorite stuff. I, I love it. He, uh, uh, yeah, so like they, now the, the, the crime, you meet, uh, what's his face? The dude. Roger uh, Reese. Roger Reese. Oh, yeah. Who's playing a guy named Parnell, and man, is Par, so it's Parnell, P A R N E L L. That's tough for Stallone, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Man, it's the villain of this movie, man. Porno. <laughs> it's a pretty All cool right, name. Mr. Pabo, you're going to be coming with me. Yeah, you come over here, Purell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's such a weird, vague like plot, right? Because Roger Rees, I guess, owned a warehouse full of guns. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. They burn down. They take the guns out before they burn it down. And they're going to sell the guns. Plus, getting the insurance money. Sure. But some guys stole some of their guns and sold it to Estelle Getty. It's so convoluted and weird. So was Roger Reese a legitimate arms dealer? I that's what seems was... like it. I mean, it really yes. does seem like it. Hey, you know what, man? Huge question mark. <laughs> yeah. Well, because Cause you the... don't even know. Like, you meet him in his high-rise office because this is like a byproduct of a 1980s screenplay. So it's a businessman high up in society and whatnot. Mm -hmm. yeah, you have usually... no fucking clue what this company does, though. Absolutely yeah. no. It's just... It's an office, and he's also an arms dealer. Maybe. And, and Welcome to business. This is business. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Him and Estelle Getty show up, and they start like asking, or he starts to, Stallone is like asking questions, and then like, 
sir, your mother is in the other room. It's like, also, like, I don't know, this old lady's not getting through fucking security. I don't know who this deranged <laughs> lunatic is. <laughs> She's not coming to my office building. I know, I, do, you know, I really do not need to see your son's dick. <laughs> I, 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 you, I, I'm a secretary here. I don't need to see anything here. Dude, that's, you should have just let her loose on Roger Reese, man. It's like, I'll tell you anything you need to know. <laughs> Stop showing me pictures of your kid's penis. <laughs> And he's like, I want to see that warehouse. And Roger Reese asks a great question, which is, hey, do you have a warrant? And then he goes, yep. does your mother have a warrant? Which is pretty <laughs> funny. But the answer, and he's like, no, but you got to do it anyway. No. You have a warrant, come back and go fucking get it, dude. That's yeah. the move. <laughs> Am I being detained by you or your mother? Not enough people. Like, I got to hand it to Roger Reese, man. And rest in peace, great performer. Uh, he's one of the few characters that keeps calling Sylvester Stallone out about how pathetic this shit is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your mother. Well, you're a police officer. This is quite embarrassing for you, is it not? Oh, she brought you pineapple juice. You know what that does, don't you? So you're wearing the same shirt to your own comedy show. How, <laughs> how quite embarrassing for you. Oh, yeah. Our mothers dressed us. <laughs> <laughs> They're both named Martha. Wait, why'd you say that name? Because Wait, a th what? Wait, what? <laughs> a, little, a little more behind the music here, because the other thing is, if like he, if we're like, okay, so we both wore, wore the shirt. If he wore it tonight and I wore it tomorrow, it'd be like, well, they're just sharing clothes. <laughs> like, and how's like, the big guy fit in the little guy's shirt? <laughs> exactly. And it's like, you know what, dude? Let's wear it at the same time. Everyone knows it's all above board. Uh -huh. now, so you're getting ahead of a totally would be non existent social media scandal. Absolutely. Yeah. That's right. Because people, it. you know, some of our fans think we live in like a firehouse together or something, <laughs> bunk beds or yes. whatever. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're really proving them wrong by wearing the same shirt. <laughs> Got your ass. <laughs> so what happens now? Well, there's a part... <laughs> uh -huh. Great question. Uh, there, uh, there is a scene. We skipped over it, and it don't matter none. Yeah. But there's a scene where... He's getting into it with this dude Ross in the bathroom, mm. and this guy, this guy Ross, the only logical character in the movie, is like, "Your mother's fucking this up. Like, a murderer is gonna get away. This is like gang violence. This is fucking illegal." Drug correct, trade, correct, whatever. correct, correct. And he he's like, "Oh, you know what, man? Kind of sounds like you're asking for a swirly right now, <laughs> man." And he fuck one police officer, gives another police officer a swirly yes. in the the fucking office bathroom. Your gun and your badge, you're done. Like, I don't yeah. care who Go you're on. fucking. You're fucking done, Nelson Muntz. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> well, two things. One, he calls him Norman Bates, and that was like a legitimate laugh for me. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. great. Correct. And two, yeah. he comes out like soaking with toilet water, and he goes up to his superior, uh, who's this Lieutenant Joe Beth Williams, and he's like, I want to file a formal complaint. And she's just like, Go back to your desk, dummy. And I'm like, okay, then I'm going to your superior and I'm fucking blowing yeah. the whole lid off of everything. <laughs> you got it. I know it. what's going on in this office. Yeah, call in Captain Charles Derning. Yeah. We need him now. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I didn't see that guy. Dude, I love a... Charles Derning, yeah, man. He just pops up and shit. He's You're like, great. fuck yeah. Speaking of a guy who wore a diaper late in life, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. You could have said, speaking of a dude who was friends with Burt Reynolds. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He's in the best little horror house in Texas, among other things. So great yeah, in that movie. A guys. lot of pineapple in that house. <laughs> One of the elders of the of the of the fat performers, the great uh, fat performers. Him and Emma Walsh, I think, are the. Oh, you totally. Know the pro nowadays, you can't even find a fat performer. No, right? no, no, I mean, no. Besides tonight. Well, there's yeah, like 200 people looking at four of them but, right now. Yeah, but like. No. <laughs> I'm but that fucking skinny-ass Colin Farrell is just like, oh, I'm the penguin now. No, you're not. Thank you. That's you need to live your life in shame for 40 years, that's and then you could be the penguin. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. It's specifically that, yes. <laughs> well, yeah, it's now all on Paul Walter Hauser's shoulders for the rest exactly. of time, yeah. I guess. You need to be uncomfortable on airplanes, and then you could be the penguin. <laughs> There's a bomb in Arkham Asylum. <laughs> yeah, he could play the penguin. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I just go. tested it out. It's totally fine. Yeah. He looks like a cobble pot. He's got the yeah. face of a cobble yeah. pot. Man, you can't tell that to people. You got a face <laughs> like Oswald Cobble Pot, you know who man. You look like Oswald Cobble Pot. <laughs> I'd rather you tell me you can cut a roast on my face, man, <laughs> than you look like the penguin. Because also. Everyone is going right to Danny DeVito. Sure, yeah, 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 exactly. It's the most popular penguin performance. It's the only penguin performance in my view. <laughs> it's the only one. 
so they uh, they wind up at a warehouse. Like Stallone does investigate this warehouse. Oh right. And in, instead of like dropping his mom off anywhere, he's just like, oh, I'm gonna leave her here. And of course, she goes in the warehouse. Weird. No, it's Strange. like back at the apartment, Shady yeah. Pines nursing home, <laughs> like wherever. Some of you got that, and I love you for it. <laughs> Uh, don't bring her to this fucking burned out warehouse, man. But this is my favorite part is where, like, you know, it, it turns into an action sequence. There's a wrecking ball coming in. And I can't be like a reggae <laughs> man. Oh, yeah. Get him completely oh. naked on the wrecking ball oh, going yeah, back dude. and forth. Or at least in a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> he picks up a still Getty and tries to escape with her. And he is barreling through walls yeah. like dude. He, he's he's running through walls like the juggernaut. Man. He's going mom first through <laughs> yeah, yeah, those yeah. walls. Every bone shattered. Her hey, ma, squeeze gone. your cheeks, man. We're running through a wall as first, man. And it is the same dummy they used for Macaulay Culkin in The Good Son. It's like this little little, little thing. They just put a little red red wig on it. Hey, ma, ma, you got metal hips, right? Yeah. Why? Oh, never mind. Yeah, we're going to have to Kool-Aid guy this situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it's so awesome. This is when you get the titular line. Oh, right. Stop! Oh, my mom will shoot. Dude, and, like, you can, you can feel it, like, through the screen all these years later, 30 years later, right? He says that, and it's like, stop! Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> You were Finish fucking Rocky line, Balboa, man. Uh, you were fucking Rocky line. Balboa, man. You were fucking Rambo, man. Finish the line. <laughs> oh, my mom, was you? My uh. plan has worked perfectly. Uh, He's now finished for good. I'm sure by then he knew, right? He knew oh, yeah. he was in a dog. That fucking Austrian got me. Dude, that I am piece just, of shit. I am fucking picturing Arnold like at his like house in California <laughs> and he's like hanging by the pool and whatnot. He's reading the trades every day and it's like update from latest sly Stallone vehicle. And it's just a picture of him in the diaper and he's got like a huge cigar, like ha ha ha. Yes, I have done it. <laughs> I love the funny pages. Look at this. <laughs> Uh, they uh, <laughs> capture one of the criminals. Doesn't really matter. Uh, it's the fat guy from the Ernest movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the nice. other one is killed via suicide letter. That's kind of fun, oh, right? That's a, that's a fun enough scene. Like Roger Reese <laughs> is writing a suicide note, but the guy it's so it's so unbelievable because the guy's so stupid. He's just like, oh, why are that, you so depressed? We gonna we're gonna get the guns to South America and everything. Dude, and this is the first time. Like this is like an eighty. Four minute movie before the credits. This is like minute seventy two that South America is even mentioned. You're yes. like, oh yeah, these criminals have a plan they're trying to it's pull too off. Late. It's too late. But then he's like, oh no, the suicide note's going to throw them off our trail. I wrote one for all of us. Why don't you sign one? You signed it. And then actually, by the way, you know, I, I haven't checked the weather. Could you stick half your body out the window and see how hot it is? Okay, I'm pushing you. I mean, and guess what? Doesn't work. The, the plot doesn't work. No, no. Really, they're still, you know, Stallone is still on them. Here's my thing, though, like about suicide notes that are typed out and then signed. Those can't hold up in any court. It's like, um, <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. I need handwriting through the whole thing. It's not like your yes. secretary is writing your suicide That's note that you're just signing it. Yep. Luis, take a letter. <laughs> I've grown tired of this world. Wait, yeah. what? You gotta Cobain that stuff or bust. You know? Oh yeah, please. And, and you, you, I bet at the bottom it's like accidentally Roger Reese like put Roger Reese. Oh fuck! And then, like <laughs> there's a big line in between it, and then there's the signature. out on it. Yeah, it's like I'm gonna do this thing. This is when they have their they break up a little bit here. Him and his mother. I mean, oh no. Uh, oh. But and of course they mean no. him and his mother. I hope they make it because he gives Lovely her a bunch. Couple. Gives her a bunch of rules about what she can and can't do, what she can and can't say. All right, my rule number one, man, you must fight tonight, all right? <laughs> <laughs> but the rules are just like, uh, yeah, don't use my gun. <laughs> don't embarrass me nonstop. It's pretty reasonable. It is. And she's like, oh, you want me to fucking follow rules? <laughs> yes, yeah. that would be fucking nice, man. That would be a delight. So just I, for I, once. I, don't, I didn't follow for, rules of Fight Club, and I didn't follow this. I talk about Fight Club all of the time. <laughs> all the time I'm talking about Fight Club. 
talking about Fight Club and my Canasta group. <laughs> oh, yeah, we should fight. That sounds fun as fuck. Oh. I would, yeah, Grampy fights like that would be nice to watch. Uh, Just in yeah, general. That's, that's like borderlining on bum fights. Yeah. That oh, that, yeah. Believe that got outlawed, rightfully yeah. so. It's about time for that to come back. The aughts are coming back, baby. Uh, that's I don't true. Know. And I want them to be housed. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good of you. <laughs> I'm very oh, noble. Oh, <laughs> fighting for an apartment? That's what we're doing? <laughs> yeah. To take over the hoarder guy's house. <laughs> My next vice president will be Eric Siska. <laughs> what a great idea about how to handle the Hamlet. If he asks, I will run. I know. He, I've known that for a while. Uh, <laughs> so they break up. He, she, he, he, run, he leaves, and like before they... Before she tells him like what to say to Joe Beth Williams to get to get her, and he goes back to the police station after it's closed. Like the lights are off. Sorry, yeah. come back tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, no one commits crime after eight anyway. Yeah. Shutter it. I think it's just because like his home has been taken over by his mother. Yeah, he has no place to drink. Yeah, so he goes to work to drink and look Ooh. at his girlfriend slash boss. <laughs> Very healthy. And <laughs> Frame photo of your boss at your desk. What the fuck? I mean, really dude. rubbing it into the other guy. Just like, this is not okay. Hey, buddy, could you like put that in your drawer or something? I guess so. I Jesus. just respect our lieutenant, man. I'm kind of surprised you all don't have a frame Wait, photo. Wait, you don't with have her. a you don't have a photo with her signed in lipstick? That's bizarre. <laughs> How did this get here? <laughs> See that right there? XOXO, your boss, Gwen. <laughs> um, and they kind of get together because he oh. says what his mom said. <sighs> they super get together. Dude, they are making out in this police precinct. Fucking curtains open in the middle of the whole office. And I didn't think I'd find this as unsettling as I did. Uh, Stallone is just kissing her with his eyes wide open. Mom, <laughs> mom, <laughs> mom, this is Look. going great, man. Oh yeah. Look, my aim's not so good these days. I gotta, gotta aim right here. I just gotta make sure you don't turn into my mother real quick. Gotta keep these yeah. eyes open. Well, and this is all because it's mother. happened before. <laughs> yeah. I, I accidentally know. made out with Bridget Nielsen's nose for like thirty minutes once. It's all because his mom sent like a million roses to this office and oh, she's geez. like, oh my God. <laughs> but then the movie goes back to LAX because mom is leaving now. Uh -huh. yeah. And he's like, I can't have that happen. That, the movie's only been 68 yeah, minutes. <laughs> Wait a minute. My mom's trying to leave the movie before it's over with, man. Get back here, old lady. Wait, but she left a note that says, don't forget there's a pineapple upside down cake in the freezer. I get it. <laughs> I'm not gonna say the word. <laughs> but yeah, so like he's running after her, and it's like it is like that scene in Crocodile Dundee when he when he when he grabs her, right? You yeah. know? Yeah, you're totally right. I mean, yeah, it's pretty much the exact yeah. same scene almost. Uh, and yeah, it's like you're praying that this was like modern day, and someone tackles the fuck out of this guy. <laughs> yeah, doesn't happen. They he's have this big heart people. to heart. He's like shoving people out of the way. There is one person. This poor, like, very tiny woman is pushing a huge, like, upright base in a huge case. <laughs> he body checks this girl. <laughs> she goes fucking flying, man. Like it's the Capitals versus the Rangers. <laughs> it's insane. Well, there goes Yo Yo Ma's first cello. <laughs> It was nice. Sorry, man. I'm chasing my mom romantically through the airport. No, I know. That's, that's very important. I just love her, man. <laughs> I, lo I love her. I love her so much, man. I love my mom. I want to have her. <laughs> Did you know she was one of the Golden Girls? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we, uh, I wonder, so which golden girl is it? Is it the hot one? Is it the hot, is the hot golden girl? Oh, oh really man, am I going to star in a movie with Blanche, man? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I let her be my mother. Get, it cannot be B. Arthur. She's taller than me. That's not cool. Uh, now, yeah. that is a mother I like to fuck. Wait, <laughs> wait a minute. Wasn't Roger Reese in this movie? <laughs> oh, wait, we have to finish the movie. Oh, yeah, guns or something. Yeah. Essentially. Hello, opening, uh, closing credits? Yeah, man, if you could pull over for like 20 more minutes. <laughs> yeah, I think my mom called you and said the movie was over, man. We got a lot what? of stuff. Did you know Roger Reese was in this movie, closing <laughs> credits? That's ridiculous, man. It's insane to have a running to the airport thing and then continue the movie. <laughs> I don't think I've seen anything like this before. 
pretty interesting. They go back. They pick. They go back to uh, Stallone's house where the 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 big guy from earlier in the movie is broken in, and he gives them the information they need for the third act. But uh, he's like, "Oh, he's like, you want the third act or what?" And uh, they're like, "Well, I guess that's the only way this thing's gonna end." Yeah. And he handcuffs uh, Estelle Getty and this guy together because they're not. He doesn't want them to follow her. And she Gerald's games out of this fucking handcuffs, man. <laughs> I mean, not as bad. And I'm sorry to chill everyone to their boats yeah, yeah. because that scene was uncomfortable. Yeah, I mean, oh, people who have not seen Gerald's again. game, you're lucky. I'm just going to say that you don't know. And she's like, sc- like screaming, but she's like, oh, it kind of hurts a little bit. And I just started having flashbacks to that movie yeah. and was throwing up. <laughs> That's she, brutal shit in that movie. She puts a cast iron pan twice over the head of this. Estelle Getty cannot pick up a duck. <laughs> A duck is too heavy for her. <laughs> a cast iron pan going over, Looney Tunes style, going over somebody's head is too much for me. I'm sorry. Yeah. And I accepted all the dick stuff. <laughs> oh, you did? I guess by the end of it. Well, it's like that Mr. <laughs> Burns, like, I'm going to give you a threshing of a lifetime. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and he, inst- he instantly drops, yep. and then she but, handcuffs him to a, like a wooden railing of the staircase that's not going to contain this beast no. of a man no He's but just long up. enough to keep him where he is so he doesn't make it to the end of the movie because the credits are coming oh, yes. that's right <laughs> can I mail a joke to 68 seconds ago do it dude you accept all that dick stuff that's like me sending on to a website man yeah. you just, Aww. a little button just, Aww, you sign up yeah. all the dick stuff yes I do, <laughs> I do. Why, well yes I do I have done that often <laughs> It's cookies and the dick stuff. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> That's exactly like Estelle Getty in this movie. She eats just cookies and dick stuff. <laughs> yeah, mostly. Desserts in general, I would say. Oh, yeah. She's a, a master. So then we're back. No, no, not the airport. An airstrip. How, there you how go. amazing. <laughs> Another location, kind of, uh, almost. The, the airstrip- airport had less airports in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I think there was just one airport. <laughs> yeah, just the one, yeah. And the airstrip is, I, I, you won't believe this, in Mexico, which is just like a whoop, and then we're in Mexico. Oh, no is it? Or anything. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, really? there's a whole thing about how he's saying, like, hey, they're going to do the thing in Mexico. And I'm oh, like, yeah, we're that's gonna, a quick uh, drive you just made, man. We're going to uh, br- you know, dist- you know, break the sovereignty of an in- independent nation <laughs> and uh, <laughs> fuck jurisdiction. Uh, I think that's how it's written. Uh, uh, <laughs> where are them credits at? <laughs> Whatever, man. So he's like, you know, man, everybody loves my movie over the top, man. I'm a pretty cool truck driver and shit. Maybe I'll just do that for the end of this movie. And he like, he finds this big rig out of nowhere and literally drives it into the airplane. Containing his mother, because I think he's trying to kill her. (laughs) I think at this point, whatever happens, man, it's in God's hands, man. I just know I got to stop these arms dealers. Because Roger Reese with the mom as a hostage is trying to get out of there. You should just kill. Why not? And especially once you crash into it with a truck, guess what? Your mom is fucking dead. (laughs) Your mom is dead. Yeah. You and your mom are dead. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. You'd join your fucking father, asshole. <laughs> anyway. <And> he, <laughs> he stops the plane and beats these dudes up with a tire iron. That's sort of something. I guess. It's kind of the only part of the movie where you're like, oh, yeah, he's like kind of an action star sometimes. Yeah. Interesting. And then Estelle Getty wastes Roger Reese. Well, she, do- she doesn't, she doesn't. So, like, he's got... Roger Reese has like got a gun on him. He's like, I'm going to kill you now because I am a vague, vague villain. It would give me so much pleasure. <laughs> pleasure. Do you and hear this accent? I'm clearly a villain. And uh, she pulls out a, the gun that we didn't know she had. And she shoots him in the heart. And then like he falls over. He's like, oh, my shoulder because it's a family <laughs> film. <laughs> oh, owie, 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 oh, Definitely non-fatal. Oh, 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 oh. I will definitely not bleed out. They can take their time. The ambulance can get here in two hours. And I'm sorry, but this is where the titular line goes. Yes, yes. yes exactly. Yes. Not fucking absolutely. 40 minutes into the movie. Oh. At the end, like Roger Reese is running away, yes. yeah. and Estelle Getty pulls out. Maybe Sly gets like shot, and he can't sure. fire the gun. Yeah. And he says, "Da boo, my ba boo, boo," <laughs> and then she boos <laughs> and <laughs> fucking gets yeah. him. Yeah. She could shoot him in the ass if he's running away. Beautiful, yes. I would love that. Yeah, you can get a good butt shot, like a book in the movie with butt shots. <laughs> I think yeah. that's good. Fuck yeah! That'd like lost awesome. translation. No, no, it's just yeah. You got right two away. assholes, man. <laughs> Here come the credits. <laughs> You're shitting out of both holes. 
so we go to the airport one last time, <laughs> folks. Yes, one sure. more time. And How's he paying for parking, by the way? Because this is skyrocketing now. I, I bet you he has Joe Beth Williams like calling and like, yeah, my boyfriend needs free parking again. <laughs> this is the fourth time this week. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's been. Uh, this is my last week as a police lieutenant. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm being fired tomorrow. And, like, everything's wrapping up. Like, Ma, it was so great to see you. I'll see you again sometime. Our relationship is totally healed. And I'm engaged to my boss, so everything worked out <laughs> just fine. And, but then, like, someone in the editing room was like, make it longer. It's, it's, we're at 81 uh, minutes. Oh, shit, man. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go call Blake Lively's father, who is the guy who has a gun in this shot, who just... Recently passed, R.I.P. Ernie Lively, uh, and he well, is Estelle that, Getty is like like I don't know I don't like the look of that guy. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> one thing you always want to trust is when an old person doesn't like the look of someone. Like, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That always means a good note. Whatever the fuck they did, it is like death penalty or higher. Always believe old people when they yeah. don't like the look of that. Exactly. Very smart. You move. know what? This, the other day, I was at the grocery store, and an old lady came up to me and said that I looked like a very nice young man. There you go. Yeah. And you punch her in the teeth you. to prove her wrong? <laughs> I wanted to. Like, don't talk to me. Avert your eyes. Ma'am, have you ever heard of pineapple juice? <laughs> Why do you think I'm at the market? <laughs> it's just prune juice and pineapple juice with <laughs> that lady. A cart full of it. Uh, yeah. Indeed. Well, but you know, for the glass Both are table. gross for different reasons. <laughs> yeah. So Ernie Lively, of course, Estelle Getty, of course, Ernie Lively has a gun and draws it in this airport to run away. <laughs> just we, leave. And this guy's just walking around with a hand cannon in the LAX. Yeah, and then, so, so Sly goes after him finally, tackles him, and this last line. Oh yeah. So, oh. oh, I know, I know where I recognize him, Joey. He killed his mother. <laughs> Dude, Stallone makes this like, Whoa, you, you don't say. Wait, you could do that? <laughs> wait, wait, what? You You're free to go, that? man. Unbelievable. Uh, man, good luck, man. Run, run. Also, really, we haven't talked about it because like, we've been concentrating on the shirts IRL. <laughs> but yeah, the shirts true. in the film, Sly is oh, wearing man. some fucked up shirts in this movie. Including this one at the end of the airport where the pattern can only be described as Ninja Turtle in a food processor. <laughs> yeah. It's it is correct. disgusting. It's like that does not green. sound awesome at all. <laughs> That's what Shredder wanted to do. <laughs> yeah, I got my shirt at Dan Flashes, man. <laughs> Shredder, we need to make the Ninja Turtles into shirts. <laughs> You're always talking about turtle soup. <laughs> we must mass produce Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for all the shirts around the world. Look, it flows right out of your mouth. Teenage Mutant Ninja Shirtles. <laughs> Oh, now get marketing! A shirtle? Oh, yeah. I think I had one of those ones. <laughs> oh, that's a glass table joke? Yeah. yeah. Got it. I got it. Oh, there that's you go. That's a shittle. Yeah, shit. Yeah, shit had to shit. translate some Cisco there for yeah. a second. Yeah. Mash it together. Yeah. And that is the credits finally show up. Oh, Thank they, God. <laughs> Thank God. They were delayed in the airport traffic. Yes. Oh. No. Uh, but that is the end of Stop! Or My Mom Will Shoot, folks. That's the end of the movie. If you can even believe it. Horrible movie. We talked for way longer than the movie runs, <laughs> which wasn't hard to do. Uh, but we got to start wrapping it up here. Of course, we want to give you all a big thanks once again for coming out. It's been so awesome Thank to see you. you. Give Thank you, everybody. Applause. Big thanks to the DC Improv having us back. Always the greatest crew in the business. Tip generously, folks. Tip generously. It is tough times out there, folks. Um, but before we wrap it up and get the hell out of here, as always, here at We Hate Movies Live, we like to end every show to see what other folks are thinking. And one of the fun ways to do that is to check in with our good friends on the website where you can find some of the greatest, most insightful, and totally not unhinged in any way <laughs> film reviews, the Internet Movie Database's user review section. So we got a couple here for you this evening. Uh, one out of ten stars. What? How, who could give it such a low star? Please. Stop, or there will be a sequel. Oh. Uh, <laughs> by Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever you do, you definitely don't want Sly to do a sequel. <laughs> no, Sly, I'll definitely be in this one, yeah. <laughs> I'll be in it with you, man. This is uh, written by Brass Knuckle Sandwich. 
Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. November the 10th, 2001. Wow, right after. <laughs> Someone over here just went, oh. <laughs> Listen, we all needed to escape it. somehow. Yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, and so Brass Knuckle Sandwich had this to say, I'm a self-admitted lover of cheese films. Mm. Cheese films, folks. What, uh, like Mouse Hunt? Yep. <laughs> yeah, a lot of mouse-related content. Yeah. What the fuck? Stuart Little? What the... Uh, Fievel uh, Goes West in yeah, an American yeah, yeah. Tale. Maybe that's Just it. mouse stuff, then. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> only mouse stuff. In other words, I am a cinematic masochist with a threshold for celluloid pain mm. that would give Arnold's Terminator a run for the money. But uh-huh. stop or my mom will shoot is painful in a way that a shot of morphine, a handful of codeine, and a dozen shots of whiskey cannot overcome. This that- guy's uh, auditioning for Ain't It Cool News right yeah, yeah. now. Yep, totally. <laughs> Maybe Grass Muncher 69 will read my review and hire yeah. me. <laughs> Whatever the fucking dumb names those people gave themselves oh, on their yeah. website. Uh, speaking of the Terminator, there are very few stars who cur- whose careers could survive a beating like the one dished out by Stopper My Mom Will Shoot, but Stallone survived long enough to resurrect his career with Demolition Man and Cliffhanger. The rest of the cast was not so fortunate. <laughs> and since then, has only been seen on milk cartons under the caption, Have you seen me? What? Wow. Has he been kidnapping the cast in this movie? <laughs> no, this is just, this dude knows how Ain't It Cool News writes, wow. and this is exactly what he's yep. fucking doing. Poison. Strange. Uh, is this in all caps, too? Is that how that works? <laughs> <laughs> it's cap, lowercase, cap, lowercase, uh, cap, lowercase. Yeah. Oh, it's really cool. fucking fun to read. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, imagine my disappointment in finding that this turkey managed somehow to escape the bottom 100 list despite being widely acknowledged as one of the worst attempts at comedy since Police Academy 6. I, I have to interject. What are you basing wait, 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 wait. That That's, is that City Under Siege? <laughs> yes. Yeah, because Miami, Simon Miami Beach is five, right? I yeah. think so. You guys know this, right? <laughs> <laughs> This, uh, that this steaming pile rates a 3.1 makes me question whether or not online voters have been subjected to lobotomies or their minds were so severely damaged by this film that they are no longer capable of making sound decisions. Does this motherfucker know that there's movies not released in theaters? (laughs) There's like this ocean of crap that nobody could watch ever unless forced to for a podcast that makes you some money. Some money. Some money. Some money. I'm just enough for the shirts, really. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta buy them in bulk, so that's the problem. Uh, next one, 10 out of 10 stars. Wonderful movie. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Written November the 3rd, 2019 by Antiquarian. Who's wa- Everyone's watching this movie in November. That's exciting. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why people have rated this movie so low. It's so wonderful, I don't have words. Sylvester is amazing. And the amazing. tension between his mother and girlfriend is also amazing and pretty great. Estelle Getty <laughs> plays the girlfriend. <laughs> Reminds me of my mother. Oh, no. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice, dude. Oh, nice, dude. How's that going? Does it? Except mine's hotter. <laughs> yeah. yeah, please, leave that for the Pornhub message boards or what, the comments section. You got a problem with those? (laughs) They're really annoying to read. Been there, man. (laughs) I have been there. Yeah, you've been making friends. (laughs) What's with all the kissing at the front of it? (laughs) Just get to it. Here's some time codes I had problems with. Uh, What a wonderful, funny, funny movie. Oh, that's nice. Uh, we got one more here for you this evening. Another 10 out of 10 stars, though, so that's nice. good. Oh, boy. <laughs> Subject line goes both ways. Wait, what? I don't know. We should read on and find out. <laughs> Written by Seth172, February the 17th, 2006. Okay. That's how I ran in, uh, rang, uh, reigned in President Say myself, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. Watching this movie, yeah. Uh, this movie is not only just exciting because of all the action out there, mm. uh, but this movie is also funny because this is an action comedy film a la Rush Hour. <laughs> a la Rush Hour. Huh. Interesting. 
uh, the reason why so many people have a distrust for such a oh. classic name I, like this film. I think they mean actual rush hour when you're stuck in traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, it's got to be at least more exciting than waiting in the car, man. <laughs> it is not. No, I'd <laughs> rather be in traffic, yeah, for sure. Some people may think of this as a murder she wrote for a brighter, wider, and most importantly, much younger audience. Brighter. Especially the much younger part of the sentence. Stop or my mom will shoot is, in my opinion, one of the funniest, most amusing action comedies out there. This movie is excellent when doing chores, sitting down, or just plain bored. What? This movie's great when I'm not watching yeah. it. <laughs> this movie is just genius. We've been We Hate Movies from New York Thank City. You Thank you guys. Thank you Thanks so much for coming out, DC. It's been awesome to see you all again. We will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye. That was a HeadGum Podcast.